Let's see, we can close out of this one. Okay. News story. Um, um, I, I just saw this one. It's a very short video, which I'm rather upset about. So this is titled Apex Rikon Service Dog Supplier. Service Dog Supplier. What? Mark Mathis turns himself. I think they mean turns himself in, not just turns himself. Faces 42 charges. He is, he's been putting a lot of people at risk because he's been selling expensive, expensive pet dogs. We talked about this on our last live stream where people are providing these untrained, undertrained, um, more likely to be trained as uh, aggressive dogs than anything else. And um, this guy was apparently caught fudging documents, providing dogs that ended up biting people and hurting other dogs and trying to pass them off as service dogs as if they were trained and selling them anywhere from, I think, around $4,000 to $13,000 each. Again, just a very expensive pet. And even then it's worse off than you raising your own animal if you know what you're doing. So without further ado, here is, what's his name? Mark Mathis. Here is Mark Mathis. And new at four, a man who breeds service dogs for children who have autism and was indicted on 42 criminal charges in Wake County has now turned himself in. Mark Mathis owns Rikon in Apex. The nonprofit sold service dogs, which, which he claimed were specially trained. We profiled Mathis in 2016 and last year interviewed a family who said they bought a dog that wasn't proper. So this is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Just side note. Trained. The state attorney general's office says people pay between $4,500 and $16,000 for the service dogs, but then had serious problems like fighting with other dogs and biting family members. Those dogs. What the heck? What the frick frick? Also, stop it commercial. <laughs> okay. So it says Math has turned himself in. Mark Mathis. Um, and it doesn't really give too much more information than that. About $4,516,000 for a service dog. Um, it does elaborate a little bit. The sheriff office said that detectives interviewed multiple Rikon employees who have worked for the company during the past several years who stated that Mathis knew there was, quote unquote, a lack of training being, being done with the dogs. Employees who were not certified trainers, do we have, really have to go over this? So people working with dogs don't have to be certified. It's not a requirement. It's more of a voluntary, voluntary option. Now that being said, not all certified trainers are great and not all uncertified trainers are terrible, but if you were a business hiring people off the streets with no further, like any, you know, experience or education of dog training and just, you know, trying to get them in to work for you, that's obviously a no brainer, stupid thing to do. Um, so anyways, these non-certified trainers were instructed to falsify records to make it look as though the dogs were receiving the required training, the sheriff's office said Thursday. So like what? You're trying to see if a paper trail is the thing that's going to cover it up and you're going to make excuses to why the dog bit somebody or broke out in a fight with your family dog. I don't, I don't understand. This is just as bad as last week's person who gave what? One day, three hours worth of instructions to how to handle a lady who's paid, whose church raised money to pay for a $15,000 service dog. And the people just said, okay, give us the money. Here's a three hour instructional thing to work with your dog. That's it. We, we wash our hands of it. <laughs> and the dog would still be pulling outside, be distracted, even start getting, he was reactive to other dogs too, which was ridiculous. And she wasn't the only person who had those kind of complaints and the guy is still doing business. And that Mathis apparently turned himself in 
um, you know, it would be, <laughs> it would be sensible for their guy to do that too, but it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I can't understand how something like this could even start, especially since the results, you know, you've been seeing get, I mean, the result is in the, <laughs> how good your tra training program is, is easily able to be seen by what you see out in public, right? <sighs> I don't even understand. I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to check in on the chat here real quick. Linda! Hi, Linda. Hi, Joey. Nice to see you guys. Okay, I'm so glad the chat is working. Thank you, Linda, for letting me know and putting some comments in the chat. Okay, so next bit of news.